Alright, welcome to another tutorial for Puckhead International uh, Fantasy Hockey. What we're going to be talking about today is how to trade your players. So what you want to do is type in ESPN Fantasy Hockey into Google and of course head to the Fantasy Hockey page. Make sure that you're signed in. Up at the top here is where you sign in with Facebook or with your ESPN uh, login details. Then you're going to see my teams down here and you're going to select Puckface International or you can click on your team either way. Now, for the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to assume that you know which team you want to trade with and which players from each team you're trying to trade. So, uh, you can take a look at my team here, uh, do your research. What you want to do when you're proposing a trade is go to the team that you're proposing the trade to. So, let's say, here we go. And you know that you want one of these players. Let's say I want Henrik Sedin for one of my players. Um, what we need to do is propose a trade. So you can see the link right here, propose a trade. You click on that right there, and we'll bring up the trading screen. So you start off with the opposing team's uh, lineup. So I want Henrik Sedin. I'm going to click him there, and I'm going to proceed to the next step. Now I'm willing to give. Scott Hartnell. So let's go trade. And that's pretty much all you have to do. And down at the bottom, you can select how long you want the trade to last for, let's say three days. And you can type in a message. There we go. And then you click here to finalize your trade offer. After that, the opposing team is going to get an email and they'll also get a notification on their team page that that trade is open. One thing uh, I want to show you before we go on is some of the other things you can do with your trade. If you wanted to enhance the trade a little bit, let's say you would offer up Scott Hartnell and I will drop Kyle Quincy as part of the trade deal. So. Um, the Kyle Quincy in that case would go down to the waivers which means that he's a free agent you can pick him up onto any team but part of the deal is that I get rid of him off of my team uh, let's say the player poses some kind of a threat uh, to a particular stat that's why you would include that as a drop to make it a, a more attractive deal so uh, but I'm just gonna leave him active right now so that's a straight trade player for player and finalized trade offer there we go, so now it's off and that trade offer is out there and you just wait for the other team to respond. Uh, if you want to take a look at what's happening, you can actually go onto the My Team tab and your pending moves and this will show you your open trades. It will also show you uh, recent activity in terms of picking up free agents, uh, picking up players from the waiver wire. We'll have another tutorial about that. I'm also going to do another tutorial about how to read the stats and what all the stats mean. Um, but for now, that's pretty much all the information you need to know. Once again, if you've got any questions, definitely uh, let us know. Uh, on Facebook, you can email me, you can send me a message on the message boards right here on the ESPN Fantasy Hockey. Just any way you want to get a hold of me and I'll help you out. Uh, and the other players are always willing to help as well. So feel free, ask a question, get on the boards, get active, and let's have some fun. Cheers.